SI. All praise King Selassie. Ja Rastafari. Situation in Syria. Computers crashed. Can't get video editing software. Really would like to present a more interesting forum than just talking into the camera. But let us recall the United States and their allies are losing the war. Um, they set an objective to eliminate Bashar al Assad despite what the CEO of Exxon Mobil may tell you. Um, this is the objective. And it is so that more fossil fuels can be burned, and specifically in Europe. Um, there was that contract with the company Genie Limited out of New Jersey, shareholders Rupert Murdoch, Dick Cheney, um, and Jacob Rothschild just a few names um, in 1993 to secure a region of the Golan Heights now being ruled by Syria. The military is called in and it became a proxy war, a covert war. You try to keep it out of the, the mind of people uh, making that connection between the military and another regime being toppled. Because, of course, we know what the results were of Iraq for most people. And I'm sure that the results were, were fine for some. But in most people's mind when they look at Iraq um, with all the drone bombings killing still going on they're being called suicide bombings remember the drones disintegrate now it's a state of chaos and that's a direct result of the invasion the same invasion in all the uh, most every other country that's in chaos now this is the result. So, Omar the Chechen, he was the commander. Everybody was to donate money to this group, ISIS, and this and that. This was back when the group was relatively unheard of. Um, and then it began a ploy because people got tired of hearing the word Al-Qaeda and a little skeptical. So this new term come out, which evolved into the Islamic State to present that projection to people that this is what faith-based apocalyptic thinkers look and act like. That if you see someone with a beard, perhaps, they might be following ISIS, right? They're, they're against the police here. You know, it, it's an attempt to present I people in a negative light. And it's worked. Example, you know, sitting there with a group of people today. Some girl comes, she kind of gave me a nasty look, you know, boobs just hanging out. And then I got kicked out of the place, but right when I was leaving before the girl said she wanted to get up and leave she didn't want to sit next to me and it was probably because of my beard so once you form those prejudices in people's minds it's they're stuck it's one you know they're they're, they're one-sided and this this group isis has served to form those prejudices the group itself doesn't exist. Just because somebody made a YouTube video of some guy wearing black, you know, declaring um, uh, a, uh, a holy state, it doesn't make it legitimate. Baghdadi was trained in the prison and he was told 
if you want to get out of this prison, you got to work for us. When they were losing the evil forces, what happened was they needed to, to get Baghdadi to recruit more soldiers. It's a proxy war. They're using these soldiers in place of conventional militias. And fast forward to today is that man was losing hard. And Bashar al-Assad regained territory and resources. So that man found it necessary to orchestrate bombing. It's, it's, and now this real crossing of the red line is being presented as theater that somehow the pedophile is working with the president of Russia and this doesn't mean anything. So you can almost listen to the media and now it's, if, it's, if, if they tell you something doesn't mean something, it does. Or if they say, well, there's five things that happened this week, you know, tell us what you want to talk about the most. Whatever they begin to talk about probably is the least significant. See? So, but the impression people get is, well, this must be the most important thing. Or, you know, if, 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 if uh, if, if, if these people keep telling us about this, like somebody actually said, why they were telling us about this conspiracy theory, they told us that if somebody tells you a lie over and over, it becomes true in most people's minds. So it's, 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 this is the master of deception risen, Lucifer. And Lucifer, He's going to find out what you're thinking, and he's going to feed off of that. He knows what you want to hear. Even though the Christ may come down hard with the truth, and it might not be easy to swallow, yet it is the truth. It cannot be denied. It always stands firm. So, it became necessary now for conventional warfare because that man was losing. That man is going after Iran next because they have an, an intranet. It's not an internet. It can't be tapped into from the outside. You know, the Peter Thiel's of the world can't just, you know, look up, look, find out everything bad that you've ever done and then, you know, project you in that image, so that the, the mat, quite frankly, the wrath of Satan is great. And so Iran is next. You know, Russia, it's, it's not really as we, you know, the second beast has two horns. So the East and the West are using this to their advantage for a selective few individuals on the earth, which really are descendants of Caesar, the enemy of the Christ. And rejoice in knowing that they will not go unpunished. And Bashar al-Assad may be taken out just as others have fell. In the end, if they did what was right to defend their people, they will be rewarded and all others.